All right, guys, we're back and we are, we got to get the Atom running. You guys know we've had, a, we have an Atom. It sits on the lift. It, it, that's where it lives. But we're going to get it running uh, today. We tried to get it running this weekend and we pulled it out, just dumping fuel all over the place. We're going to figure out where that's coming from. Dan doesn't, Dan doesn't know this yet, but we're going to take him for a ride in the Atom. It's going to be a lot of fun. The, the reactions you get from people who, who ride in this are hilarious. Craig was giggling for like, 20 minutes after it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast but we got to get this thing running actually i know where it's leaking fuel come in and show you guys it was dumping hey craig come check this out all right you see oh do we have a pointer some type of pointer uh, long point poker laser okay you see you see that right this line right here you see it craig yes this one's broken so we need to get a screwdriver on top of that pull this off Maybe we can bring it back to us, and then we can cut, cut, cut the broken part off. And hopefully there's no slack, we can put it back on there. So if, if, if we can't get in there... Oh, yeah, it's right there. We're fine. Oh, oh good. Look, look at that. For real? Yeah. I can weasel my fingers in there. Yeah, you got weasley fingers. Weasley fingers. Uh, we could always... We could pop this off yeah. if we need to. Yeah. I'd rather not if we don't have to. When, when I first got this... Um, like two years ago, it wasn't running right. The fuel pump was all clogged up. And they had to pull the seats out, take out this firewall right here. And normally a firewall is in front, but when your engine's in the back, it's in the back, take out the firewall and get to the fuel pump that way. This way it's gonna be a lot easier. Deep, deep, deep. What's I think is quarter, you think it's quarter or nine thirty seconds? It's either quarter or five sixteenths. So it's either quarter or, I think it's oh I'll grab both. Quarter or nine sixteenths? Five sixteenths. Nine sixteenths, that's not a thing. It is a thing, it's just not a thing for this right now. But it is a thing. After this is done, Craig, you can add to your resume. Adam Mechanic. Aerial Adam Mechanic. I don't know if you want me to do that. That just increased my value. Well, it's a Chevy engine. Oh, okay. Well, then that kind of decreases the value. That's the one right there. That's the one. Can you get to it from there? Is my flashlight helping? Hey, Ben, try to get up in here with your camera. Oh, do we have a GoPro we can throw in here? This is like, um, what's what's the, the magic school bus? We're going to shrink the audience and take them in. Miss Frizzle? Frizzle. I always want to say like Bigsby or something, but that's not it. And there is our problem. Ah, don't do it. It tastes like gas. Yeah, we got plenty of room. Adam Mechanics. Might require someone with small girlish hands, Craig. Uh, oh wait, pull the sheath back. That would be that would be step one. I can't wait to take this thing. Take it out and give Dan a give Dan a scream. Dan a scream. Dan Dan has no idea what he's in for. So riding in this car is it, it's a fun level between absolutely like hysterically fun and absolutely terrifying. The first time I rode in, I was giggling forever, but it was still slightly terrifying. Oh, it was spraying. Oh, okay. So it's partial on. It was dumping. It was, it was, shh, oh, gotcha. it was flying everywhere. Gotcha, gotcha. In everybody's eyeballs. <clears throat> Let's see if it works. Dan, I got a GoPro down here. Doing awesome feet things. See, we good? So far, so good. Jump box. There you go, Ben. Check this out. I got these at a uh, BMW, and they're not Adam gloves, but the, the leather on these gloves are specially designed to work with Alcantara, which is what they use for the steering wheels and, um, and the M cars. That's why I got these. And they feel really good. I don't think you're on right. How about now? Is the jump box dead? Oh, yeah. You know what, I, I had it on the car for the whole time. I had it on the car all weekend. You're walking over there like we have a plan B. Do we have a plan B? <laughs> I was just walking home. <laughs> yeah, we have a jump box. Then you see my drink anywhere? Oh, yeah, it's over, over there. Throw it over. <laughs> Thank you. Should be a, there's a digital display on it, right? Jeez, those are heavy cables. Yeah. Is that a thousand percent? A thousand percent, it's not thousand, bad. A thousand percent. I like them odds. Man, yeah, that thing's no joke. All right, how about meow? That sounds good. All right. This is cool. That jump box is weird though. You gotta press some special button. Yeah. A series of special buttons to get it to actually, is it counting down? No. 98% there, it's doing something.
Make sure we're not leaking. It's looking good. Let's pop that door before we all die. I want to go. It's my time. I stalled it. That was all by design. I hang my head down in shame because of that one. Go ahead. Ah, I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't try to. I was just, I, was, I just turned it off. Oh, you turned it I off? I turned it off. That was just carelessness. All right. All right. This is a fun car. If you like fun cars, that's a fun car. So the Atom is pretty much basically like the closest thing you can get to a street legal Formula One car and the thing rips. Good save. Let's uh, let's go throw a tag on this and I think we're about ready for Dan. Oh yeah. The W's for win. Or wiener. I also, I've seen a couple of these that have, I think the wing is not big and obnoxious enough I want to go like this much wider, this much taller, like really like. Oh, you don't want to be in the wing a ding a ling club, do you? Are you can't. This is it. It's already there. Okay, uh, Scudo Pikes Peak. Look at the wing on this thing right here. That's what I'm going. I want just like ridiculous nonsense. I mean, the, the car is already pretty ridiculous, but the, the, the wing's just too small. You ready, Dan? Are you gonna do rubber? Yeah, I need new rubber. This is uh, we'll smoke these tires off. But yeah, even last season, it was getting pretty sketch. They're a little hard. Step on the seat. Right, you step step on, on the seat. The seat. Now, now scoot yourself in. in. So you're gonna have One an. You have an anti sub. I don't know what any of that means. When I put people in there, I like to go large person and then tiny person, <clears throat> and then large person and tiny person. I, I got it last time I got in, Steel was just in it. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I was like, are you carrying around Barbie dolls? Like, what's going on here? Who was last in it before me? Probably a little kid. Cool. This is going to be your release. There oh. you go. You'd yeah. be surprised, but it's harder than you think to put a rear facing car seat in here. <laughs> but I've managed it. Put a car seat in No, I'm joking. <laughs> what? Do you get this one? Nope. Right now, Dan's wondering why do I need all these seatbelts? Dan was in the army and never strapped in for anything like this before. Strapping for oh, squat. yeah, pull yes, your, pull your. Oh my gosh, like this? Yeah, that you need to pull this and kind of pull that. It's it's it, it cams over, so it locks. Actually, this belt might be actually put in backwards. This belt oh, yeah, might have been looks like folded backwards. in upside down. Oh, really? So if it doesn't feel too tight, it's not tight enough. Right. One of those. Yep. I feel like I got T-Rex arms with this thing. Yeah, you do. You nice and snug? Snug as a bug. The rear visibility on this car is amazing. Out on the highway, well, you know, we got out on the highway and went down to a, a meeting once, and uh, we had helmets on. Um, generally, especially on the highway, you want to be wearing a helmet in that car. Don't really have to with the roll bars and everything and with the laws, but um, bugs, debris. Talking. We had our uh, we had our comms on so we could talk. You don't want to hit a, 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 a shredded tire or something on the highway and have that stuff flying up at you. So we wore helmets. Makes it a lot nicer. Should have worn glasses. How is it? This is, uh, didn't need to comb. No. Just did the wind did it? What does boost mean? How does it kick in? If we get 
too close to that cop, he's gonna pull us over. Yeah. Because I always get pulled over. Yeah, I'm still amazed this is street legal. Yeah, I mean, everyone is. What do you think, Dan? I was afraid to open my mouth. I wanted to yell a couple times. But I thought something was gonna fly in. That was fun. It's like a go-kart on steroids. Yeah. Is that what this is? Yeah, pretty much. Dan, this is the closest we'll ever get to riding in a Formula One car. Ben, you driven in this? I like the new hands. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Miami Vice Dan. Let's <laughs> hop in. Hop in, Ben. Oh, Ben's up. Ben down into the pan. It's so loud. My ears are still ringing. What was the ride like? Uh, it's like a souped up go-kart. I missed it. <laughs> it was crazy. Did it put a smile on your face? It did. I was, pretty, it? I was pretty delighted. Isn't it like borderline hysterically funny and borderline horrifically terrifying? I wanted to scream, but uh, no, I was afraid of like bugs or something. So I just kind of like kept my mouth sealed shut. I made weird faces. I don't, I'm afraid to look at the footage. All right, so it's it's a it's couple days later. We're back at the uh, wreck of the shop. Let me go. Show, let me let me show you something. Before I show you this, I keep on seeing these. It's it's funny. It's in the motorcycle culture. It's all about like ride or die or or ride, don't die, and you know what? We're all gonna die. It's not this, it's not this either or nonsense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a shirt, motorcycle on, it says ride and die. Let's just do them both. What are you scared? You scared of dying? It's, 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 it's the weakness of society. You're gonna do them both. Let's just do them both and let's just, let's just admit we're gonna do both. All right, so these are arguably the stickiest tires that you can get. When you look at tires, for performance vehicles, it'll say like 50% track, 50% street, you know, 80% track, 80%, 20% street. This was just all track, although they are street legal. Now they are the uh, the Toyo uh, 888Rs, R888R. And uh, they've maybe lasted about maybe a thousand miles on the, on the car. But I think they timed out. They didn't, they, they didn't, they didn't wear out. We're not at the wear line, but um, maybe when I got them, they were kind of old. They're at least three years old. So they've timed out. They don't stick like they used to. And I can feel it, you know, I, get, I used to be able to get on the gas in a corner and it would, it would just grip and now it just cuts sideways. Which is actually, last year was really fun. It was a lot of fun. But this year it's getting a little sketch. There's only one, up appropriate thing to do when you're about to need new tires and let's go let's go do that thing hey here's another question does anyone want to buy a camper i bought it at the auction it's got a little slide out i bought it at the auction for i think 5500 bucks maybe 6000 bucks it's like a 2011 it's, it's a cool little camper but the floor was soft and it was softer than i thought it was i pulled the floor up and it looked like something the ceiling's fine but still like a pipe must have leaked at some point in time and it got it all wet uh, so i tore the floor out it needs a new floor pour back put back in i don't know if i'm ever going to get around to it let me know if any of you guys are like yeah i would love to i honestly realistically it's probably going to cost you a weekend and 300 bucks to to finish i actually i bought the i bought the plywood too i bought the wood for it so it's not that it's not a huge deal to put it back together. I just don't know if I'm ever gonna get around to it. So if, if that was if that's like a blessing for anyone, I think it's worth around ten thousand bucks. That's a blessing for anyone, and you would like that. You would want that deal. I don't know. Hit me up. Maybe we do need a new battery for it. Let's do that right now. Let's stop procrastinating. Let's just go get the battery. Come on, let's go get a new battery. Come on, Dan. It's so nice out. All right, so I'm, I'm pumped. We have a uh, we have a trip to Mag going back to Maggie Valley in a couple. Actually, this weekend I'm taking my boys, like my my children boys, my spawn. I'm taking them to uh, Wheels Through Time. We're gonna pick up the motor from Matt. He's got it done. It's gonna be awesome. He's gonna tell us all about it, and then he's got he's got some really cool bikes that uh, that he wants to show us at uh, at Wheels Through Time. So I'm pumped. I need a battery. What's the most powerful? lightest battery you can get that looks like this maybe maybe you can go like a, a little bit bigger 
have a larger one, but it hasn't been available yet. Wow, that weighs nothing. Nice looking battery. This is so because this battery is so small, you can stack it up like this to make it fit your application. Down in the loons. Wow. I need this. I need all flashlights. I love flashlights. How much is this flashlight? They're $139.99. I love flashlights. Yeah. All right, so I said this before. I'll say it again. If you're ever wondering to get, like, what to gift a boy or a man, it's the same two things. You can't go wrong. Flashlight, pocket knife. You can't go wrong. Every, every guy, it doesn't matter how many he has. He can have all the pocket knives, all the flashlights in the world. If you get him another one, even if it's the same one that he already has, you can't go wrong with that gift. If someone gave me the identical one that I already have, where do I get one in me? If someone gave me the, the identical one, I'd be pumped. I'd, I'd put them both next to each other. It'd be awesome. Guys are simple. Guys are simple to shop for. Women, well, I guess you could just get women with flowers. Women love flowers. So I never put in a uh, lithium battery before. And there's a lot of different types of lithiums. There's lithium polymer, lithium. There's lipo. There's lipo. I just know this from like RC cars. They're lighter, but I don't know what to do. And I'm not gonna read the instructions. Hopefully we're good. Maybe it'll start, I don't know. Let's go do that thing that Adams do best. Tires. All right, I mean, you can stick your nails in them, but but they used to be like that when they were new. These are the stickiest tires. I'm getting a lot of uh, oversteer is very normal. I'm getting a lot of understeer because the front end is not tracking. Guys, that wraps it up. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. In the next video, you're gonna see we're gonna figure out what's in that box. Don't show up too much. All right, subscribe.